Hello, lover girl, and welcome to a brand new episode of Man Moves Monday. Now, today is the first video in a three-part series that I put together for you titled Three Surefire Ways to Fuck Up Your Love Life. But before we get started with the first surefire way, I do have a confession to make. You see, over 12 weeks ago, I was crazy busy enrolling some of the loveliest ladies I've ever had the pleasure of working with in my dating program, The Courage Kit. Simultaneously, I had very stressful personal events happening that were way beyond my control. Now, being 100% committed to the experience of the ladies in my dating program, I knew that certain things in my life would have to take a back seat as I was focusing on them. Unfortunately, I picked the wrong things to take a back seat. In fact, I let my health take a hike. Now, I am a woman who loves the idea and the concept in taking care of myself, but when things get stressful or when things get super busy, I do tend to let that slide. And between the loads of stress, being on the phone all day, as well as being on the computer, focusing on making this business connect and taking care of my five-year-old at the same time, I'm not excited to say that certain things in my life fell apart. The first thing, as I already mentioned, was my health and it did take a hike for a while and I became chronically sick. The second thing was my relationship with my man. Now actually, that didn't necessarily fall apart, but it did get pretty rocky up in there. I am happy to say that my body is on the men and I'm even happier to say that my man and I are back to our playful selves. But with that in mind, this all brings me to the first Surefire way to fuck up your love life. Drum roll, please. The first way to fuck it all up is by refusing to take care of yourself, especially physically. Now, being an adored woman is not about being a certain size, and it's not about looking a certain way, but how you take care of yourself can drastically increase or decrease your opportunities for romantic adventures. So I am going to give you two things that you need to check on and be really honest about. Number one is what you are putting in your mouth. Now I'm not talking about going on a diet, but incredible romantic adventures cannot be sustained long-term on M&Ms and Diet Coke. At some point, your body will rebel. And when you feel like shit, it will be very hard for a man to make you feel better, thus limiting your capacity for adventurous romance. And number two, which is the most important, the one that will kill any romantic potential is sleep deprivation. No matter how you spin it, looking haggard and sleep deprived is never sexy. But energetically, it is impossible for you to get excited about men when you are chronically sleep deprived and worn out. It's also next to impossible to increase your turn on. So do us both a favor and be honest with yourself about these two things. And no, it's not about 100% compliance. You just need to own up to whether or not you're being seriously disrespectful to your body and make amends immediately. The easiest one to start with is your sleep, but it also has the fastest results, which means your homework this week, lover girl, is to get caught up on your rest. And then let me know about how excited you are about all the romantic possibilities and potential. And I will see you in the next video, video number two of three surefire ways to fuck up your love life. See you there, lover girl.